Is that good? Let's go. My name's Solly. My name's Ryan Richards. I'm from London. I'm from Sittingbourne, Kent. I'm 20 years old. I'm a trainer and 18 year pro. I'm 6'2". With the 49th pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, Six one. <clears throat> what made you agree to Sonny's idea? Six foot. He was an interesting character. Five ten. Nah. I liked his vision. Five nine. Nah. It's gonna help the uh, the next generation. Five eight. I'll give you that one. How tall are you? Seven foot one. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Time out, time out. Because when I told you I told him, you didn't believe me the first time. How are you gonna believe him? <laughs> <laughs> I've got 90 days to become the best hooper I can possibly be and with the best coaches around me, I hope they can teach you guys a thing or two as well. I'm starting from the very beginning as well. I've got no jump shot, no left hand, can't hit layups. I am straight cheeks. In the final week of the 90 days, I'm ahead to America in a city of your choice to test out my skills in pickups, collabs with other creators and who knows, maybe some pro players. So make sure to stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and let's find out if I really think this sport is as easy as I think it is. Stop the cap. What made you want to do this series? It's a long story. That's an air ball. 2021, I went to visit my family in Seattle and we were watching the draft there. Some of the players, they, you know, all blessings to them. But, you know, they came from privileged backgrounds. Their parents were ex-athletes. Nice, nice. They have all the, all the right cards to get them in the league. Nice. Personal trainers, skill development coaches. Uh -huh. But then you kind of forget about the kids that came from nothing. Nice. Oh. The kids that only have a ball. Nice. Only they have to play in, a, in the cold weather. Nice. The concrete courts on a hoops with no nets on their double rim. We tend to forget about them and that's why I want to start this series to teach those kids that come from rougher backgrounds all the steps it takes to become the best player you can possibly be to watch me improve I want them to improve with me Nice! <laughs> Do you think he's got what it takes? To Be the best <laughs> Just be, as be the best he can be <laughs> For sure Best in the world I don't know but he's, he's got what it takes to be the best he can be for sure Perfect! <laughs> To reach that his full potential. We don't know what his full potential is. Top Maybe two, that's, 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 that's <laughs> Maybe. Let's say 16 to 12 right now. I'll give you one minute. I want you to score 10 points in one minute. We go threes and twos, shoot whatever you want. I just want to sit and watch what you do, what your moves are, and we can work on that. Sound good? What's one thing every pro athlete has to have? A dog. He has to be a dog. You know, you have to have a dog in you. All dogs might not be the same, but if you haven't got that killer or a switch, you know, you can be a pro. You know, for who you know, connections, size, you can be a pro. But to be a successful pro, you have to have a dog in you at, at, at some sort of level. There's two types of players: compact, wide. Player like Kyrie, very wide. The reason he can be so wide is because he's explosive, so he can drag other players. Obviously, you've been five eight, five nine. Five nine. That's what I'm talking about. This.
mean something to me, man. It's going to be tough, so that rhythm, that bounce when you catch the ball, the bounce into the shot, you're saving half a second, you're going to need that. Like See, before this, I was making a ton of public interview videos. And if there's one thing you guys need to know about the UK Hoops community is this is a tight-knit community. We all like to support each other and we want to grow the community as much as we can. Come on, man, that's garbage. But then when I started making those videos and I started seeing the reach it was getting, the reach it was getting for the wrong reasons as well. I was like, man, I'm holding these guys behind. This is for the community. Be low, be low. You catch it, you catch the ball, you dip it, and then you're gonna float. If you catch the ball low, you ready? Nice, nice. Throughout your entire career, if there was one advice you can give, what would it be? Uh, find a support system, find a mentor. That's huge. I never had one in my career. If I had one, I don't know how far I would have gone, but... Um... GB was just a killer for me. You know, that Olympic build-up was just... <sighs> Once that went wrong, man, I just thought, you know what? Like, you know, I've given my all here. Come off double shoulder surgery and then not making it. It was tough. Because I never had anyone helping me or really truly looking out for my best interests. I don't think the Spurs understood that. I don't think they knew my story. They do their background check and they check if, you know, there's pictures of you online and videos. And... But they don't really, you know, they don't come to sit in Bourne. Kent. They don't see where you're from. They don't see the same. And why should they? They shouldn't have to. You know, this is a job. You're at the highest level. You know, you've got an opportunity to be here. And I came in and I worked every day and I worked hard and I got praise from RC Buford and my teammates and everyone every day. But I just needed someone to just hold me, man, and like grab me and say, look, we're going to get you there. And, you know, this is your family. This is your team. And I never read that. Yeah. And then when I never got that through GB either, I just thought, you know, f this man like, and I just said let me get my money let me go get my money let me go set myself up and then I went to Asia and I met some of my best friends today and have managed to you know own a home and managed to do things that a lot of players say they, they can't say they've done find a group that you trust stick with them from the beginning to the end and uh, a mentor nice What's the difference between being a player and being a coach and which one's better? Well, when I was younger, being a player, you know, as I got older, definitely I would say I prefer being a coach because the giving back side of it. So, yeah, it's tough, but I would say as you get older, I would say coaching becomes more of a love. Best thing to happen to you as a pro? I would say um, my daughter because that um, kind of gave me a whole new fuel. So, yeah, my little girl, my little girl Grace. And if you could join one team and help them, which team would it be? The Washington Wizards, for sure. I could help them, I think. But uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe like the Bucks back up Brook Lopez. Maybe we could use you on the Sixers, man. Yeah. We the could sixes. use you on the Sixers, yeah. We need that stretch four. <laughs> Hey, I'm a big fan of the 76ers, but I think I'll be kind of bringing waters and cheering on them being most of the game. What's realistic? And you sprint from there to there. It's not. If you're going to sprint, sprint back and get the defense. This is for you to work on your game, take your time working on your game. Since switching to being a coach, is there a particular legacy you want to leave? Um, I still do both. I do still do both. I think for me, it's just uh, being that mentor, that mentor, you know, for somebody, showing them what it really takes to have success. You know, I've, I've managed to play 18 years professionally, still playing professionally. So I live on this. People don't remember what you do for them, they remember how you make them feel. I'm huge on that. So uh, that's what I want to leave. Hold the screen. Hold the screen. I'm gonna snake it. Why is it good for the big to get a snake? If this is what it is. As you go, the big one falls. Now stop right there. As you come to the ball, you've got a shot, pass to the corner, you've got a kick back to me, and you've got a pulse in the ball. Now you've got all this space. Number three, because you're a threat coming off the screen of the 
in that bin as you come up the screen, the big guys are going to be right here. If you stay in that area, it's easy for the bin. Because here, tag, when that guy rolls, I just drop it out. Here, put the fender, let's see you again. Go here, put it again. Get up off. There's no screw. So when I say break the line, always, this free foot line, okay, you have to break the line. The screen is right there. He's not going to move because it's a bit moving. If he comes down, you have all this space to play, right? Don't just think that, oh, because he's, he's, he's shorter than me. I don't want to learn this stuff because I'm, I don't know, 6'10", all I've got to learn is full stuff. That's how, that's how the game is today. The pick and rolls I'm doing, you've got to do it too. The dribbling I'm doing, you've got to do it too. The flow is everything, you've got to have that in the locker as well. Don't watch me improve. Prove with me. To me, like, the biggest thing is time. Time's the biggest thing. When you get subbed out of a game, you complain and you're not playing. The more you can do, the more versatile you are. I was training three times a day at 15 years old. How did I improve from 15 to 19? Repetition, repetition. So without that, you know. You can't go. Promise you that. Let's go. What is Solly lacking after his first session? Definitely not confidence, that's for sure. He's got a lot to work on. The biggest thing I would say is probably size. <laughs> no, he's, we've got a lot to work on, but I would say, like I said, he, he's locked in and he's focused and he listens. So that's the biggest thing I would say for him. His main focus is to work on conditioning, his plyos, and learning what he can and can't do. That's not fair. No, no, that's, that's not fair. Why do you think you did so bad? 
It's not my fault. It's not my fault at all. The guy behind the camera. That's why I'm, I'm calling him out. This was meant to be a two hour session and I've got proof as well. That first hour, he was an hour late. That first hour, I was making every shot, all right? Yo, you were there for the first hour I was playing basketball, right? Yeah. Was I not making every shot? No. Delete my number. If you guys got any questions of your own for any of us, follow my Instagram, which is linked in the description and send us through your questions and we will pick the best ones. Real quick, I just want to thank Game On Active for making this series possible. If you're a hooper from the UK, you'll understand how difficult it is to find indoor courts. But Game On Active makes that easier. Game On Active is an app that hosts games and training sessions around London. So whether you're from North, East, South or West, you will be able to find a court near your area. You can find games for whatever level you are. And unlike these leisure centers, their prices are very, very affordable. Tickets to join games in certain courts start as low as five pounds. It's inclusive as well. You could be a male or a female hooper. There are games out there for you. Link is in the description to download their app. Again, thank you for Games on Active for making this series possible. My name is Antonio, personal trainer, fitness camp owner, coach, football coach, athlete, born in Italy. Two taps on the step, yeah. You're gonna flip around and then you're gonna go into set shuffles, okay? And I've um, literally been doing sports my whole life. Me to deliver upon my services and put a certain individual in this place. Let's go. So remember, pace yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, side shuffle, let's go. That's a build of endurance. Remember, pace yourself though. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Well done. Damn. What made you agree to Sully's idea? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I like Sully. Sully, Sully is like a bro to me now. Literally, it's, it's, it's his idea to open him out and pretty much being part of this thing is, is something I much, uh, much appreciate. And I'm kind of like I said, this, this is a bro thing to me. This is a good recovery stage. In for your nose. Half of your mouth. Oh, athletes normally do this. Chest out. So this is something I definitely want to be part of and I'm pretty much going to be helping him in his further endeavors. Second round, you ready? That's it. Remember, pace yourself. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Side shuffle, let's go. Nice. Two, one. Well done. Ah, nice. What is so lacking? What is not lacking is the things I can say, probably say more of, but make sure you literally go into the back of your knees. Get the squeeze, okay? And then jumping jacks, okay? Not doing that many. Yeah, you want to get at least 20. Uh, what is lacking at the, uh, the moment is uh, endurance. That's a warm up. Yeah, you're just slightly, you get the warm up, you know? <laughs> Speed. Reaction. I mean, it's not bad. I would say, obviously, in, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, who will come out and tap me or him. Put your bets in now. <laughs> three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, 17, 18, 19, 20. Jumping jumps, let's go. One, two, three, four, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done. This is the fun stuff now, okay? What you're gonna do now is literally gonna be jumping. Yeah, straight down, squat position. Lund. Where's the fun part? The fun part is going to start. We haven't done the fun part yet. Do you think it's got where it takes? Yeah, everyone got potential. I mean, as a personal trainer, I've seen people with different shape and sizes. And so it's not down to commitment, drive, determination, discipline. Everyone got to have that discipline. I mean, well, let's go. There you go. Like that? Remember, swinging up, lean forward, use your arms. That was not it. That was not it. That was not it. Yeah. That was not it. From my side of things, watching him do it is actually, I'll say, his discipline is top tier. He's a person that's committed. There you go. There you go. Well done. Oh, one more, one more. Yeah, great. One more. There you go. Well done. There you go. Stock it. There you go. Lovely. Oh, no. Are you remember I said this one is going to literally finish you, mate. And forward. Shuffle back. Sprint. Yeah, real quick, you can do any of this at home as well, bro. You don't even need these cones. You can go in the garden yeah, and get like, some steaks or something like that. Definitely, definitely. So this good. is the one thing that you actually can't. You don't need none of these cones, but you might want to put something down to kind of know exactly what you're going to measure in yourself, but you could do it anywhere. Let's go, Sully. That's it, run, bam. Go up. Nice, nice, nice. Jeez, that was an explosion. 
I'm the quickest here, man. I'll be telling you. I'm quicker. I might be quicker than you. Don't worry, we'll do it side by side one time. <laughs> he's committed. That's one thing I'll say. He's committed and he doesn't he doesn't give up easily. You might even look like he's dying at certain times. I'm telling you, this guy is almost, I think I did the fibula. I got pulled out a couple of times, but <laughs> three, two, one, go. Shuffle back. Bam. Remember, keep the knees nice and high. For the slower. Huh? Real talk is uh, making sure that, that he's actually performing well and he's, he does well, he does well with this training as well. Yo, anyone that's looking at my cheeks when I'm walking back, come to me, I've got something for you. Pause. Sorry, now cut that out. <laughs> I didn't even want to know what you said there. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Bam, bam, bam. It's pulled out. Pad your feet. Yeah? Oh, that, that's, to be honest, part of those moments of PT is when I always see my clients achieve their goals. And I mean, especially when they hit their marks and see how they improved in the time that they stay consistent on. And I mean, three, two, one, let's go. Touch, 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 boom. Let's build. Oh, oh sh ah, yeah. <laughs> I was minus one, mate. I swear, I'm gonna get injured. It's all different feeling, because as, as a PT, you always admire people that always see the, the, the results and always take it in and do better about it. Did I f up the technique or, 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 like, or did I just trip over? You literally didn't even bother sprinting. You literally go here, you forgot what you to do. <laughs> For me, my right foot, so that means if I'm exploding, I might put my right foot back and then explode. Imagine you get put in a scenario, you're marking a player, sh it's side like shuffling. If you're here, what are you gonna do? Turn your back and then explode down? No. So that means you still plan it. Mm. Exit. Ready? Go. There you go. At least you got it right, but that was slow. Slow. <laughs> Telling you. Come on, bro. I'm trying my best. I'm not quick. What can I do? Oh, that was literally slug. Love. Appreciate it. Keep going, man. Literally, let's, let's keep crushing it. I mean, you only got yourself to motivate, but at the same time, you gotta do it if you wanna do it. And I always say to people that, um, that are pretty much starting their journey, don't look back, always take a step forward. Same thing with this side. You're obviously gonna face this side now. Boom, let's go. Always use your body, yeah? You only got the destination to get to and, and only got yourself to push. I mean, no one's gonna do it for you. Bring that discipline into your life and then you'll see your goals and your dreams come true. Ready? Right. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom. On your feet. There you go. That's better. At least we know which one's your stronger foot, eh? Right now, right now, what I'm trying to do is improve your cardio. That's why you're getting put to work on your first session. Three, two, one, let's go. Side, side. Boom, side, side. Explode. Ah, better. Better. Fam, let me show you the picture. Let me show you the picture. picture. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow, that is. There's a load of the rings all over, yeah? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Normal gyms, other gyms, normally they've got a sledge where you can add weights. It's a proper sledge. Yeah. This gym, unfortunately, ain't got that. You're going to use this uh, jump box literally to literally drive your knees up, okay? They do call your short, a little bit stocky, or fat. What is it made for? Knees, knees up, there you go. Up, 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 there you go. Up, up, there you go. Better, better. What? What? Go on. Let's go. Lovely. All right. Do you want me to go as fast as I can or? Not yet. This is what I'm trying to get you to focus on your technique first. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. the first one wasn't good, was it? That's the first one. First one, nah. No, no sh I, I... Damn! Let's go. Drive your knees. Let's go. When I'm going backwards, don't film me there. What's all that movement back there? Now we're going to take you a little step up. Boom. Kick. Okay. Sprint, All right. sprint. But remember, what you want to do, don't let your body sink on top of it. Let your arms stretch behind yeah. and plant your feet. There you go. That's not bad. That's not bad. Shall I give him this one? Twenty kg. Yeah. Stuart, I might be many things, but I'm strong. You're not gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. You're not gonna do this. Well, how much you wanna bet? Twenty burpees. Free Herbalife. Free Herbalife? Yeah. To you? To me. To you? If I do it, get the, the Ronaldo one, the Ronaldo one. Oh yeah? For free. All right, see you yeah? I got you. Well, yes, yeah, so there you go. Okay, I'll take, I'll take this bet. I'm adding this as well. You want to do both? On one? Yeah, you say you're strong, isn't it? That's one thing you are. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This is the one thing you've got to prove to everyone. So do it with a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nah, the, the, the floor is slippery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling ya. Most impressions of Soy's training. <laughs> That's how you know cheat has never prospered, you know what I mean? Yeah, give me that. Try to sabotage him. I want that free. 
Na free. A čas sa bus. Guy could do brief. One one thing one thing you do have is I would say leg power. Push it. What about arm St stamina? Do you do any any sort of arm exercise on that? I was pushing it. No. Oh, this is the rule set. There you go. Well done. I want see your legs flip that. Try and keep it straight. What? Do you want me to show you what you look like? I don't know. I'm already going to see it. I'll tell you. This is real life. Slow motion version. That's not me. That's bro. you, bro. That's not me. I tell you. I'm not that zesty. No, we see. I want you to up, up. Yeah, drive. I, mean, I didn't tell you in the beginning, but I was with this guy for six weeks just to get my body moving, moving again. The whole gap here, I was not going gym consistently. I was sat, I was just making videos. Find this guy on IG. We hit up a little, we talk on Zoom. All right, I bunk my lecture just for this guy. Come in, six week program. All we do is squats. Now everyone's wow. telling me, Solly, you got back. You do your uncle. No, no, my uncle. <laughs> well, if you ain't, you ain't. Don't be selling it like that. It's all right. It's all right if you go look a bit of backers. Listen, you know I mean? don't, don't say that. If you're trying to get juicy for the summer, hit the link in my voice, sign up for a six week program. Trust me, from experience, yeah, I'll let you know. You've got to develop them legs, I'm telling you, bro. I, I don't know what you're, what you're watching. I'm not there judging people's backs like that, you know what I mean? Especially Brett, man. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're literally going to stand on one side, yeah? What are you going to do? You're literally going to throw the ball. You're going to be literally jumping forward, yeah? throwing the ball at me, okay? So stand back, because I know I'm going to probably send you flying, yeah? So remember. There you go. Ready? Now, are you sure you want to record in that angle? You know what? Wait, you want to come in front? You need to be the back there? I think for... Yeah, because now people, people are going to be watching your back from now on for the rest of the, the, rest of the series. <laughs> Throw it towards me, so now it develops some arm strength. Nice. Nice. I feel like a kid jumping, man. Oh, that's so yeah, right. weak. It's not feel right, bro. Weak. Maybe it's just me. Right. I just feel like a kid jumping. Feel like a kid jumping? Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, I'm just I'm skipping like this. You feel like, is that how you feel like? This is one of the best exercises. No, no, no. It's like you might see it differently, but I I'll, feel it weird. I'll tell you when you're doing it wrong. In terms of the way you're distributing the weight, it's not bad. All right, first. Yeah, so you run back. Bam. There you go. Oh, and yeah. don't, don't jump forward. No, don't jump forward. All right, all right, all right. There you go, bro. Power than that. That's literally where to work your obliques, work your legs, mainly your legs, especially your arms and shoulders. Not easy to do, yeah, but the more you do it, the more you're going to see the benefits. Yeah? <laughs> so you must see him throw that ball, maybe cross court someday, if you can, but... Are you tired, mate? No, no, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. This time here, we're going to be doing is a technical follow the instructor drill. So the side is going to be mimicking exactly the same direction I'm going to be running into. Working that scenario like if I was marking someone, I'm the person with the ball or I'm the person that he's trying to follow. I'm done. I'm done. Three, two, one. Well done. Nice, nice, nice. That wasn't bad. That yeah. wasn't bad. You want us to do that again? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. One more time. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Sent ya. <laughs> it's a leg burner, I ain't gonna lie. My legs are burning. Look at him. Cut. Okay, no, no cut. Don't cut. <laughs> oh, it's a cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> cut. Well done. Good session. Good, good session. Well done. Man, don't worry, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a beast. And there you have it, week one, episode one. I'm gonna be real, this hasn't been the easiest of starts, but I appreciate you guys for getting this far in the video. Massive shout out to Ryan for coming over and training me and another big shout out to Richard's Elite, Ryan's basketball camp. If you guys wanna know how to become an elite pro from a pro in person, be sure to check out Rich's Elite. And be sure to follow the whole series for a chance to win a free slot in Ryan's summer camp. 18 years of experience from the NBA to EuroLeague put all into one summer. So stay tuned for the whole series by clicking the subscribe button for your chance to win a free slot. Also, follow my Instagram and Twitter. And next time you see me, I'm going to be cooking. Literally.